for the for the last you know 50 or more years if you wanted to build software you had to understand all the abstraction layers of the machine um, when i was a kid my mom still had punch cards in her office and uh, as I got a Commodore 64, I had to understand all the intricacies of the CPU and the memory and the caches and, and the tape drive and then later disk drives, right? And famously, Bill Gates said that nobody needs more than 640K of, of RAM. And, and then we moved into higher languages and today everybody is composing software like they're stacking Lego blocks and they're using open source libraries and lots of existing systems. But the problem remains, you have to understand a lot of these abstraction layers and with AI now we brought human language, natural language into this equation. For the first time, all you need to build a little script or a little piece of software is the language that your parents taught you. And it, it doesn't have to be English, it can be, you know, German or Brazilian, Portuguese, Hindi, all all the languages that, that kids learn first are supported by, by Copilot. And so we think, you know, this is in many ways, the greatest advancement of tech in the last 100 years, you no longer have to be an expert professional software developer to build a piece of software. If you have used ChatGPT and ask it a math question, you may have seen that, that it actually creates a Python script behind the scenes to do the math for you or plot the graph for you. And what we think this will do to the workforce is it will create a much more diverse global workforce uh, because Language is no longer the barrier, access is no longer the barrier, and what also is no longer the barrier is that you have to have somebody else in your organization or in your family, in your house that already has the technical understanding that you can ask questions. You now have an AI companion available to you that doesn't judge you, that you can ask all the questions that you want, a thousand of them if you want every afternoon, and it will help you to explore you know, a specific topic, whether it's software development, finances um, or really anything uh, that the Monaro knows about. And so I really think, you know, the next Microsoft, the next tech company is as likely to come from anywhere in the world, from Mumbai, from Rio, maybe from Cape Town, because programmers can now build with human language. Any, any person can become a creator uh, with the help of AI.